Ireland. Well, one man who's been up the walls this week before the royal wedding is Milner to the Stars, Philip Tracy. And Karen headed to his H quarters here in London to spy on the royal hats before they're sent out to the VIPs. From Camilla to SJP to Gaga, celebrity Milner Philip Tracy has designed for some of the most photographed women in the world. And yet it's to this quiet corner of Battersea in London where queens, princesses and duchesses all come to enter Philip Tracy's treasure trove. Designing colourful creations for the royal wedding has been a little surreal for celebrity Milner Philip Tracy. When the last world wedding happened in about 1981, I was a child in Haskra in Ireland and uh, I was obsessed with this royal wedding, so it's too <laughs> um, strange to be uh, involved in this one. So is this where they actually come? So all the customers come here and uh, it's a little bit like visiting a psychiatrist because <laughs> they, uh, they don't know they're being interviewed, but you know, first question we ask them is do they like hats and uh, if they say no then we know where we are to begin with and then we make sure we make something for them that, uh, that they love. So yeah. Is there a change in the atmosphere though when someone from high society or from royalty uh, comes into your place? Um, not really, I mean celebrities are much more difficult to deal with than royals and uh, we have our share fair of those as well. So there's a big difference between Lady Gaga coming here and a member of the royal family. So uh, it's sort of, you know, real royalty and pop royalty. So we do a mixture of both. When Lady Gaga comes in, is that an event in itself? I mean, you know, when she, come, when she came in uh, a few months ago, uh, about an hour before she arrived, these big four burly guys arrived and they said, uh, I was upstairs and they came in and said, uh, we're Lady Gaga security and we're scoping the joint. And I thought, um, I didn't want to say you're joking, I wanted to say you're joking, but they weren't. And uh, she's very, very, uh, very young and very quiet. But whatever about Gaga, what is Kate Middleton really like? She's um, very beautiful. She's more beautiful in real life. I mean, she's beautiful in photographs anyway, but she's uh, beautiful and England is looking forward to a new princess. While Philip is too discreet to name exactly who'll be wearing his hats tomorrow, it's a role he takes very seriously. The head is the most potent part of the body to decorate mm. because you meet your face. You don't meet your foot or your leg <laughs> or your dress. You're meeting the face. So. And your head never has a fat day, just like shoes. Absolutely. So, <laughs> you know, you can always look good in a hat. But there are some guests at tomorrow's wedding that will really be hoping that Philip gets it right for them. The hat one would make for Prince Charles' wife, we're not going to be making for Victoria Beckham. Has so. she been in, Philip? She's a customer that I've made hats for for many years and uh, and we're making her a beautiful hat. Yes, at least I got one name out of him and we cannot wait to see Philip's creation on Victoria tomorrow. Now let's head back to Philip Tracy's London base where after interviewing him for only five minutes, Karen took some unprofessional liberties. <laughs> Having bonded with Philip in what seemed like only minutes, and actually was, I felt comfortable enough to be a total chancer and ask him if I could try on a couple of his headpieces. It depends. If you were kind of, you know, <gasps> Lady Gaga, maybe you would sort of be in kind of, you know, polarised sunglasses hat, which kind of would reflect all the lights when you went into the I Abbey. I think I'm actually picking up satellite signals right now. Well, not quite. Just, you know, <laughs> it's working all those colours. And then maybe something like this. They look kind of good. I've an abnormally large head. Do you find that with clients oh, that no. you need to resize yeah, or? No, every, you know, everyone's head shape is completely different. So, what are we thinking? Or then maybe, oh, I love that. you know, if you're feeling patriotic, I know it's the wrong shade of green, but it's green. Oh yeah, absolutely, padding me up. So maybe something like this would look better with your oh, blonde hair. Oh, I love it. Thank <laughs> you so much. Can I keep it? Yeah, why not? <laughs> And as if I wasn't getting spoiled enough getting to try on a few of Philip's creations, he's allowed us up here exclusively to his London workshop where all his milliners are hard at work putting the finishing touches to the royal hats. So take a good look around because some very famous wedding guests will be wearing these pieces. Fiona, you're from Dublin working here at Philip Tracy's studio. How long have you been here for? Um, about three years. And what have the last three weeks been like? Oh, crazy busy, but enjoyable though, because 
It's just we get to do exciting things. Well, I'm wearing something very exciting. I'm loath to part with it, but you have it in the early stages, something like what would turn out like what I'm wearing. So where are you at right now? This is um, one of the hats that we're making for somebody for the royal wedding. Um, and I start off by blocking on this block. Um, and then that's the other part of it that sits in the middle. And I use this material, sparsery, um, to create the base. And then I cover it in the fabric like this. And I do that by stretching the fabric and gluing it. And then stitching it all together. And then this is the wire headband that I mean, has on your hat as well. Now I know you're not going to give me any names, but obviously it's brunette because presumably that's <laughs> for a brunette with the, the brown wire, am I right? Maybe. <laughs> and then how many hours would go into a piece like um, this? This takes quite a while, probably about eight, nine hours. Oh, that's a good day at work though, if you can put something like that oh, together in eight to nine hours. Do it in one big sweep, you have okay. to kind of, this takes a while to dry and you have to wait for it to dry and then come back to it and do all your other bits in between. So it's an intricate and exhausting process. So no wonder Philip is ready to drop. What are you going to do after this is all over, after Friday has come and gone? Um, I think I'm going to retire <laughs> after next Friday. So uh, I am going to New York for the opening of the Alexander McQueen Met Exhibition. Well, enjoy and thank you so much thank for your time you today. It's been a pleasure to see this place. And for the record, I didn't get to keep the hat. But if you do want to get your hands on one of Philip's headpieces, they're available at the Design Centre, Paris Court Town Centre, Dublin.